there were a number of us who, who had this vision for what it could be and kept fighting for it and finally were successful in convincing senior management that this was something we need to invest more in. The team's grown to 110 people. We're here. We announced it, you know, as I said last week, and we'll, the first units will be deployed in November of this year. Um, in terms of our strategy of going to market, it's not a consumer product out of the gate. It is consumer-facing, though. So we're focused on um, a handful of uh, what we think are highly strategic um, commercial partners. Three main components, there's basically a PC inside, so think of a mainstream uh, PC. Uh, we have a uh, DLP light engine inside, and then we have a uh, camera. And it's really the cameras that are what, what makes, uh, makes the magic happen. So we have five cameras throughout the unit. We put a filter on them so they only see in the infrared spec sitting in the lobby of the Sheraton where you have lots of photos from your vacation. You can either pop in a memory card, um, or if we have online photos, this, this would be a card associated with an online photo service. Either way, lots of different ways to get our content here, but in this case, I'm going to take my photo card, set it down. It's going to grab all my content off the online service. And now, with regard to how we get it here, what's really compelling, we feel, is, is again, the way that you interact with the content. So using natural gestures to stretch. If I want to rotate something, I'm just going to turn it around and rotate it. As you can see here, we can do a video as well. So it's really that, I mean, we can do it simultaneously. So it's, it's really those attributes that, that, it, that you know, people seem to go crazy over. I have a Wi-Fi camera, it's off-the-shelf camera, um, but you know, I don't know if you guys saw it downstairs, we can do things where I can literally, you know, if I can take mine, take a photo. Sure, go ahead. One, two, three. We get rid of all these at the end of the day. But the idea is, <laughs> took, took a uh, photo with a Wi-Fi camera. Now we could go through and create a big sync dialogue to get it connected here. We could pop in cables and pop up a memory card, but it seems a lot more intuitive to simply put it down on the surface, have our system actually recognize that it's there, and if it works for me, and hopefully it will. I didn't get to test this earlier. Maybe it's a little slow today. Usually works. One, two, three. There it is. Gone. There you go. <laughs> so it should be a lot faster than that. Um, there might be some interference in here. But the idea that we can make it much more intuitive you know, to get content off. We didn't have to go through all the pain of doing that, and our content just appears. So it's that idea that it just works. But then again, imagine sitting in the lobby of a Sheraton and actually being able to, to load some photos that you took throughout the day. Maybe you want to make a quick uh, virtual postcard. So we can take our new photos that we popped on here, add some nice effects to them. Um, you know, I, we can, we'll have lots of different templates that you can use to create. In this case, I can uh, send a note to my mom who gets most of my digital postcards when I demo. Again, if we authenticate it through a photo service, my contacts would already be in here, or we could bring up a virtual keyboard and do it that way. But the, again, the idea is lots of different creative things we can do while sitting in, in, in the lobby experience. So imagine you know, touching on tabs to, to um, locate restaurants in the New York City area, browsing 3D maps maybe outside of the area if you want to go see what it looks like in Paris, you know, the ability to take a 3D map while you're having a drink down in the bar and explore different areas around the world. That, somebody asked me earlier what my favorite app is, and that, unfortunately, we don't have it here, but that will be an Ag card or an RFID-enabled credit card. Do things like splitting the bill by just dragging the actual item over to the card we want to use to pay. You know, you know, doing all the calculations for us, that tip calculator, so lots of fun things that can be added, and then we're ready to pay. It could be as simple as clearing, or we can actually add a passcode. I mean, you know, if you can the ability to have the large display, to be able to, you know, here we can see how we can grab albums and really use those natural mannerisms. We can take, uh, imagine sitting down in the lobby, having a glass of wine, and, and hearing, looking at a, a, a track, and, and if you want to play it, just simply take it and drag it right into the music queue. So it could also be like a jukebox. It is. So it'd be a, it could be a jukebox in a, in, a, you know, in a lobby setting. It could just be a local jukebox, or it actually could be linked to an overhead sound system. Okay. We think it's a lot better, though. To, uh, if you had a wireless music player, yeah. and again, we could plug in a music player, so iPod today is not wireless. Yeah. The, the little phone that's coming out apparently is going to have some wireless capability. <laughs> so we're not making it a Microsoft yeah. only thing. We will support whatever the, are the standards in the marketplace. Gotcha. But, but since Zoom is a Wi Fi device today, we use it in the demo because we can actually set the Zoom down. Because our cameras underneath can detect that it's there, we can create that wireless pairing and then make it very easy to take a track and just drag it right to the Zoom directly. Notice my points are getting deducted from my SVG card. So that's really, that concept of physical virtual is really the kind of the key premise for us. Is we